Let's go! This is the Royal Rumble. There's no legends coming in because there's so many women out there that we need to showcase. What, what about, about the, the divas? divas? Come on! What no. about the divas? <laughs> Welcome if you're in Train Develop, this is Diaz. And this is Raja Muchacha, Paloma Star. And due to popular demand, we brought the queen bag, Logan's ass is here. Hey! Oh my god, it's been forever, but I'm back. Zelina realness. Giving you Zelina LWO realness. I had to get the Boricua one though, because you know I'm Puerto Rican as well. I'm loving this look. I did this just for y'all. I want you to spank me with chancla. <laughs> I can spank you with your own chocolate. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't bring mine, but like we can do yours. <laughs> I was at Rumble last night. I got here 6 a.m. and we're filming it in the morning. Yeah. So thank you so much. A.m. For sure. Thank you so much for coming. Women Grow Rumble started a show and we started with Natalia. Yay! I love Natty. Her gear. I I love Nettie. I loved it. <laughs> so good. Her gear was so amazing. So pretty. I love the braids. I feel like we don't really see her do anything like that. Yeah. The tiara the moment. Yes, I love it. Great. Especially as a good little like homage to Bret Hart because obviously he would always do that mm -hmm. with the glasses to the kids. Uh, right off the bat, we started out with a huge surprise. I mean, we kind of knew. <laughs> yeah. We kind of knew. Yeah. Trinity basically gave like a whole goodbye segment <laughs> and we all saw that. But a huge surprise that we're all waiting for the Royal Rumble Queen, Naomi's back. I was not expecting it to be number two. No. Right. I was expecting her, obviously, because what we just said, the TNA farewell. But I gagged. I yeah. really gagged. Yeah, I was totally. just like, yes, Mama is home. I love seeing I her know. entrance, obviously, but I think what was cooler was hearing the reaction that she yeah. got. Welcome back. And her response to it was so genuine and so like heartwarming that I love that she was able to react to it. Because like in wrestling, it's kind of hard to like give yourself that moment to kind of like react to and what's going on as a person, mm -hmm. not only as a performer. Former, but I think it's really cool that she got to have her little moment of like appreciation and you could tell how happy she was People said Naomi's nothing without WWE, but then she went to TNA. She proved herself She's got so many great matches there and she came back really proud yeah. as a newer better wrestler She really went through that journey totally and It was kind of funny because Michael Cole was talking about how like we haven't seen Naomi since like whatever when yeah. you yeah. were like how <laughs> Naomi <Yeah>. disappointed <laughs> WWE Universe. Oh, that's funny that you're saying that. I think it's great when obviously wrestlers can kind of venture off and go work for other right. companies and kind of whether they're doing it for WWE or not, but they're doing it for themselves. And I think yeah. obviously, I think obviously it shocked us that she wanted to come back or that she did come as number two. But I love that because it's like it showed her endurance and it showed how long she was going to be in the match for. And she lasted, I don't know the time, but I know it's a over really an hour. Like, it was a record. Hour. It was a so record. I love that. It's like she came back and showed her chops. Yeah. And she's like, this is what the Y'all have been missing me. No. <laughs> <laughs> missing the glow. Now I'm gonna ask you though. Mm -hmm. So Trini's impact gears, some people loved it and some people kind of hated it. She brought that look to WWE this time. Not my fave. <laughs> I miss kind of the old uh, Naomi. I mean, obviously, we always have to elevate and we have to do different things. We can't wear the same stuff forever. Um, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. I'm a big Naomi fan, big Trinity fan, and not my favorite hair either. It's, oh, really? it's fun, like, if we're doing this, but, like, to be in the ring, it gets Agreed. a little messy. Yeah, I feel oh, like it's more of a photo shoot standing still thing yeah. because once you start moving, it just looks like spots <laughs> on you. Yeah, and then the hair, this is Naomi. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah, yeah, so, like that yeah part, I yeah. definitely feel like it's more for um, us, like you said, a static. Not a read, just a critique. I love that two divas started out this match. The diva era women that's yeah. still right, here. Because yeah. this rumble significantly lacked some diva stuff. So I love that yeah. diva started it. The diva was uh, Logan Paul. Because <laughs> did you see the, like, the diva move that he busted out? <laughs> I was like, do? yeah, he did the little like split oh. leg drop oh. that like, Chrissy oh, yeah, Hemi yeah, would yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like he did. I'm like, oh, there is a diva. I'm going to be honest. I left after women's match. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was there in person. I was like, you know, I'm leaving. <laughs> like number three, Bailey. <laughs> Wait. <what? laughs> Listen, <laughs> Bailey was getting baby face reaction there. People in Royal Rumble, they were loving Bailey. I know. Um, I know the last time I was here a couple times, I had some not, <laughs> not so nice things to say about Bailey. I'm going to say it now. Here's the record. And I think that's why I just sucked in my teeth okay. when you brought up Bailey number three. 
I love her. Ooh! <laughs> uh, I'm converted. I'm a big Bailey fan. She's really won me over as this heel character, total baby face vibe. So obviously entering, I I think we all kind of had a inkling of that she was gonna be the winner. I love it. She plays into this character so well. I love when she goes off script and kind of just like starts yelling at Michael Cole. Me too. Good night. I was very very uh, surprised. Isn't that the best though? Like when you were on the channel, that's when she just turned heel. So she's kind yeah. of she's kind of like getting the grooves out of it. Now she's one of the best heels out there, but she's also turning baby face. So I'm like. Oh, what's happening but I think what a, her character now is like an extension of herself and I think that's why it's so good because it's just so natural and I think in this match especially I noticed how giving Bailey is like I think it was awesome yeah. that she helped Maxine out <laughs> when that weird kind of almost botch had scissors but they went for it again because I feel like Bailey's like no girl get your shit in <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, uh, we're gonna talk about that Maxine spot now okay, let's go. Um, let's go. okay she did it again she botched it again so what's yeah. going on <laughs> so that's the thing interesting I've always always been told and taught that if you mess up a move once don't go back for it like don't go do it again because then that could happen again you can mess up again guess what you just messed up the move twice but okay wasn't bailey supposed to spin for her yes but i think it was a timing issue because i feel like the first time was the timing was off and then the second time i don't think she was gonna spin with it and then she's like oh yeah i guess we're gonna spin so i think it was just like a miscommunication timing issue for it but i think it was cool that bailey tried to go for it again but she is very giving and like i didn't realize how much like she helps out other women specifically who do like hey right. get your shit in girl no outside of that maxi spot i think bailey did something yeah she did. Like, did. Uh, but we'll talk about it more number four candace array love the little fairy wings sometimes forget that she's there i kind of wish they would do more stuff with her i just don't feel like i fully seen the potential that candace array can do in WWE because in the indie she was always so good of like getting beat up her versus eo in nxt one of my favorite wwe yeah. matches ever but on main roster she does not get any Anything. Also, like the whole poison pixie. Manic pixie. Yeah, the poison pixie. pixie. pixie I'm something. not feeling it. I don't know. No, me it. either. Because she's too sweet. And yeah. I'm like, poison pixie gives me more of like heel vibe. Honestly, I would have rather had her one on one match with Rhea at Rumble. I feel like that would have been so much better for her. Oh, this didn't really do much. I, you know what? I need the himbo Austin theory back uh, with her. The whole way thing. That was that was my the favorite. way. You're right. Yeah, I, that, whole... I did enjoy that work when they were on NXT yeah. together. I mean, I'm still happy that her and India are working together. But yeah, I, I want more from Ken. Number five, this was a gag. Jordan Grace, the TNA knockout champion in WWE. What? I was like, wait, what are you doing here? So good. It was so good. Like, uh, you know, I feel like we really don't get TNA crossovers this much. I think the last one we had was Mickey James. Yeah. And it's always they bring in the champ, too. So Mickey James was like WWE legend. So it was kind of yeah. like, kind of made more yeah. sense. But yeah. this is Jordan yeah. Grace. Yeah. She's yeah. never been no. mentioned, never At been all. seen. I love the face off with uh, her and Naomi, and then they instantly just started going for it. I was completely gagged. At this, it was awesome. As soon as I heard the little sirens, I'm like, why are Scott Steiner sirens going off? I'm like, oh, big mama pump is here. I was not expecting this at all, but I also made sure, like, I don't know if it was even like leaked or anything, but I definitely made sure to like keep off of that because I want to be like surprised. And I definitely was surprised. That was one of the gags for me that I was just like, okay. She was one of the MVPs of this match. Okay, okay. I've been saying for years that Jordan Grace is one of the most exciting performers out there. And you know, you WWE stands that only watches WWE are like, what are you even talking about? No, Jordan Grace is one of the most exciting power wrestlers out there. Like right now, her match is with Trinity, one of Trinity's mm -hmm. best match of her career. And here in this match... She was booked like a freaking star. She actually had multiple, like... Multiple cool spots. With Ivy yeah. Nile, mm -hmm. which... Oh, <laughs> <is> poor <laughs> Ivy. I <know>. when, <laughs> when they were... Well, what's it called? The, yeah, like a stalling suplex. Right. And then Ivy was, like, slightly falling Yeah, like, ah, guys! And then they did K-pops together. Yeah. And, and then her came up there. And then she missed. Out. And then she it missed. I was out. like, oh, baby. It's okay. Oh, no. But she she bounced back. She still yeah, totally. got she didn't let it, it. But I was like, mm, that was like a little miss right <laughs> yeah. there. And then we had that moment with Bianca Belair. I did not know how much I wanted to see that match till I saw them face off. I'm like, yeah. yes, I definitely want to see this. And I did not know I wanted to see this. Right. And then KOD off of the apron. Perfect. It's just perfect elimination. But like you said, the Naomi Trinity moment was just so special, was, especially for people yeah. that follow the Knockouts division. Yeah, totally. It was like so special. Yeah. I love how well they booked her in this match because it still kept her strong, which is amazing because you never really want to bury another company's champion. Right. Like, it'll be really awkward and weird, like, even if it is WWE. So I'm glad they booked her that way. I did, as soon as she came in, I was like, what? And then that's the first thing I did say when she came in, I'm like, slow down! 
slow down, Jordan Grace, because she was like super going so fast, yeah. almost too fast, and her note just was yelling her to slow down. But I get it. I mean, I would be excited too, and I would be like not slowing down either. But she did. She got into the groove. I mean, it's obviously overwhelming being in front of that many people yeah. in front of so many women in the Royal Rumble as the TNA champion and being announced and coming out with yeah. the TNA belt. But I, I mean, obviously, I don't fault her for it. So I'm, she she got there for sure. But she was definitely booked so well. And I love how many powerhouses were in this match. Seriously. Remember when there was like one powerhouse right. per like generation of women's wrestlers? So it's awesome. We are like in so a many. powerhouse era. Yeah, we really are. Um, because those are, I think, one of my favorite. Yes. Uh, wrestlers of all time is always a powerhouse you know after seeing this performance i texted gail i was like you better yeah. keep jordan <laughs> tight <'cause laughs> totally. they're, like, they're like oh oh <laughs> <laughs> like let me poach her real quick yeah because star making performance she does have pretty long-term contract with tna so it is safe because mm -hmm. tna right now really needs jordan in knockout division yeah. i hope that maybe there's some more <laughs> tna debris crossover i would love to see i don't know a third team in the survivor series match you're always thinking i love it i was like that's something i didn't think of <laughs> speaking of tna during this royal rumble weekend we have a little bit of a ring the bell party like the pre royal it. rumble party okay gail kim was there gail kim just casually stopped by. No big deal. No big deal. So that was a party. So thank you everyone for coming out. That was really, really fun. Oh, um, I wish I was there. Because at SummerSlam, oh, yeah. literally nobody came out. I was already sitting there. <laughs> so, like, I gotta be here. So I was very hesitant to make this happen, but I couldn't have asked for a better party. It was so cool. Thanks thanks for everyone for coming out. Number six, Indy Hartwell with the really cute ponytail. Yeah. She looked amazing. Mm -hmm. Flawless. I mean, I think she's gorgeous, but like last night was a really, really put together. Performance. Thumbs up and everything. Yeah, yeah. and performance, obviously. I think this is another future powerhouse that we're probably going to be seeing in the future. What did she do? I like she had a couple clotheslines. <laughs> she had a big. She did a big boo. <laughs> she did a. She did that. Don't count out Indy. Like Candice, I want more. Same. I, want I was more. literally going to say that too. Yeah. I'm like, I want more because I know she has that, and she does it, definitely has like a complete look for it. I mean, there's only so much you can do in a rumble, right. but then also made me think like I kind of want to see like an Indy solo run. I'm the opposite. I want. I want more of a Candice run Ooh. with. Indy. Indy as a manager because Indy is such a good character. She she's, really is. She's really, really funny, but I feel like we're not really getting into that for some reason after the wedding was done. Yeah. I want to see more right. of funny Indy. I forgot all about Dexter. How oh, could you? I, know. I mean, like, when we talk about it, I'm like, because they're not doing anything with right. her, so I'm yeah. totally like, oh yeah. Like that happens. Indy and Candice were the first ones to be eliminated, so they really didn't get to do much. I know. But Indy, you served with looks. Do y'all do you like the thumbs up with Indy? I didn't even know it was a thing until I saw that she thumbs up the WrestleMania sign. She didn't even point at the WrestleMania side. She just thumbs up. Yay, WrestleMania. Good job. I'm torn between. Th it's a little bro -y and I hate bro culture, but I'm just like, mm, you know, but I, I have a soft spot for indie, so I'm like, maybe I'll, t I'll start doing a thumbs up. I like it. It's just it's like a goofy thing. I, I, I won't do that. I like it. <laughs> I won't be doing that. No. I love doing thumbs up. It's kind of like, Eat. it's like kind of like the middle finger now almost. <laughs> like, what? I feel like, okay, if you're texting somebody and somebody gives you like a thumbs up, I'm like, oh, oh we're fighting. Oh. Number seven, Asuka. With a really cool mask, if I'm As serious. always. Yeah. They just won titles. So they're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they weren't really here to help Bailey. I guess there was some like interaction with like Bailey where like Bailey thought they weren't coming out to help her. So she was yeah. kind of like, Wait, why are you here? I think they came out for obviously continuity purposes, which I'm totally here for. I love the interaction with Bailey. Bailey always plays it up like that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you here to help me? Okay, let's do it. But like, totally puzzled as why Oscar was in the match. And when they yeah. got eliminated, Bailey's like, I thought you had a plan. What happened? It was it was great. But was... Oscar's like completely ignoring. Yeah, Bailey. I was like whatever. It's interesting. Oscar was extremely <laughs> extremely popular, even though she's kind of like in a side piece right now of damage control. Crowd when she got eliminated so she's still very very popular number eight ivy nile i mean we talked about what happened yeah but she, she's yeah she's killing it i'm really kind of focused now and i'm really looking at her i thought she had a great match with ria mm -hmm. and this was cool i know there was a couple little hiccups in the match but i thought she did like a really cool job a smaller powerhouse like, yeah right? we don't get like a, a lot compact. of those. yeah yeah we right, don't right, get right. a lot of those and the what are they it's the pit bull right yeah, yeah. i do like that she's so athletic mm -hmm. and it's so funny when pat mcafee i think it was on zoe star i was like is every person the most athletic person in the world? Because literally everybody's so athletic and strong. I can feel like with Ivy, she's very obviously athletic, but I don't think she's like a pro wrestler yet. 
Oh. If that makes sense, you know? Like, she's, she definitely has the moves, has the look and everything. I just don't think it has, like, fully clicked for her. Because I don't think she came from a wrestling background or, like, in the indies or anything like that. So I just think she needs a little bit more reps in. And then I think she'll like, kind of, like, click for her. So I don't think it's fully there yet. But I, I kind of see it. You know, nothing to do with this match. But I one of my proudest moments this weekend was telling, first, Julius Creed... That the gays love him. And he was like, Oh, I didn't know. Um, tell them thank you. <laughs> I love that. Like, like, right? Like, tell them. Like, it's one, like, two specific people. Like, and then I told Ivy Nile, I told her, like, the gays are obsessed with the brothers. And Ivy's like, Brutus, too? <laughs> Brutus, too? What the shade? I mean, like, no, I know Julius knows it. So, um, I think Julius knows. Julius knew, but he was just acting coy. Being humble. Yeah, humble. So I love that. That interview's coming. I love that. That wins like me over. It. That's shady, Ivy. I'm into yeah, it. I love yeah. it. Give me more of that. Yeah. Number nine, Katana Chance. Oh, um, we, I, yeah. I, I wasn't... You weren't feeling it? No. I actually did not like that she was so smiley and happy, and then the commentary was like, yeah, she lost her title yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all they could talk about. And yeah, and I guess, like, I wish they would have capitalized on that a little more. Like, she clearly was excited, and I was just like, mm-hmm. that bitch just, like, took your time. Yeah, right? and you're here. Hitting, and you're just, like, walking in with a smile. Okay. I felt like they could have capitalized on that a little bit more, and this is my issue with the tag titles. There's matches now, but where's the story? Yeah. And I'm like, I need story, and I wish she kind of would have went in there a little bit more angrier towards Asuka, because Asuka was in there, and I felt like there was nothing but a big smile. I feel like aggression is missing mm-hmm. from there. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like, there's no, like, she's so physical, but in a different way, but not towards her opponents, like, if that makes sense sense you know she's physical yeah. in her moves and she does all this amazing stuff but there's like no aggression behind it like i feel like it would be like oh that's cute you're punching me you know like oh. as opposed to like oh geez like this is like a like a t- tiny person p- punching me get away yeah i i'm not really into caden and katana me either i don't like the gimmick i don't like the, i don't like that party gimmick but i think they're like incredibly incredibly very very talented but you're right i think there's some intensity missing it Comes across more like a almost, dance? Yeah, almost a choreography, choreography. circus, Ooh. like you said. Like yeah, a dance yeah. as opposed to like angry dancing. But, but I was really upset because Katana is like, she was trying to set herself as like the Royal Rumble queen yeah. following Naomi. But she didn't have that no. at all this time. No. Which, I would like a rebranding. I would just like that. I would like a rebranding. Yes, that's with, yeah, totally. Yes, I would just... Yeah, and I think it would be cool to have her that style in wrestling because you don't see it. Like the stuff that she does, like nobody else can do. I definitely can't do it. No, but no. A rebranding with a little bit more aggression and intensity, well, I feel will not give, I'm playing wrestler, will give more like I'm wrestling. It's a mindset when yes. you do the yeah. move, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like the yes. purpose, that's showing the purpose Good of point. it. Maybe that's what it is. But number 10, oh, Bianca Belair. <sighs> Looked <sighs> absolutely amazing. Mega the star. sexiest she's ever looked. I Agreed. mean, Bianca's always Agreed. beautiful, always put together, but I felt like this look in general, I mean, I think the the people I were watching with the whole room erupted and were like, what is she wearing, <laughs> baby? The Mama. EST thigh high. It was on giving. It. Carmella is on maternity leave. I'm going to take over <laughs> yes. and do the sexy, what she would have brought. I felt like it was giving very that. And I was like, we never really see her kind of show that much, or it's a little always kind of um with the gimmick like, like so, oh, very like lips and yeah. it's always like little like trinkets and gadgets mm-hmm. and shit that she kind of like that looks great mm-hmm. but it's like logos i feel like we kind of shied away from that and we kind of went for a more sophisticated sexy look and i'm, I'm here for it i also feel like she's almost in my opinion like almost scary strong to lean into her like sex sexy mm-hmm. side you know what i mean yeah. so i mean i'm not saying like strong people can't be sexy because right. there's plenty of strong people are sexy i just yeah. feel like she would go like you said with her brand so it's awesome to hate see her step into almost like the lingerie s type of gear that's so popular yeah. now but you know like the moment she walked in the energy changed energy shifted in the entire arena she's a bona fide superstar she really is because you know like the moment she got in that ring like something shifted in yeah. it, it was picking up that's really the is. queen of the royal rumble like yeah. y'all gave yeah. these titles to the wrong people but I guess she can't have too many titles I guess so it's like we gotta call other people the queen of the rumble I'm like that is when I think of the queen of the rumble it's right. Bianca it's undeniable because she's currently not in the best storyline because of Charlotte Flair injuries she's kind of stuck with the damage control again but really it's not really really going because it's it's more about Bailey versus yeah. the rest of the damage control. She's not doing anything, but the moment she walks in, she just instantly connects with everyone mm-hmm. in there. Like she had the connection with Jordan Grace. She had that with Zelina. Jade Cargill. Yes, oh my especially. God. I was like, do we want to go there already? I was like, do we want to go? I was like, that was a moment. That the was, powerhouse yes, moment with that, the what is that? A girl press? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was iconic to me. And that's how you know when you're a star, whenever you have reactions based on face-offs. And not yeah. only that, but like the reactions, it's like, oh, I didn't know I wanted to see a Jordan Grace and Bianca Belair match. The yeah. amazingness that we're going to get when we get Jade versus Bianca. Like the amount of times that I see like, oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see Bianca mm-hmm. versus this. I would love to see Bianca. I think that just amplifies more yeah. how much of a bonafide Yeah, you're right. I think like so I said good. it a lot throughout the night was dream match, dream match. Yeah. Dream match. And, and they're, they're all Bianca. Face-off for somebody and it's with Bianca. Yeah, it's all Bianca it's like, for yeah. sure. How was she eliminated, Bailey? She did. Remember, she was getting yanked by. Yeah, by her hair. Oh my god, that elimination was crazy. That looked good. It looked so good. It looked like it hurt. I mean, the hair. I know. One day, I'm always like, this braid is gonna fucking fall off. (laughs) (laughs) They're gonna get it, and I feel like that's really gonna bring out the aggression I want to see. But it's just like I don't know if we want to see her lose her hair, but it might happen. But because that's when you know she grabs it. Yeah. Don't rip this off. But yeah, that's how Bailey got it. It was a bit of a Rapunzel moment with Tiffany Stratton, and like it's so good. The intel I have was that that. Gear was finished that day. I'm still making my gear for Rumble tonight, right now. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. Because she's busy. She's yeah, I mean, busy. She's yes. looking busy. She's got reality shows, everything going. So she. Do you think she's gear. still making her own gear? She is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. amazing. Oh my God. Royal Rumble is seriously my favorite event of the year. I just love the element of surprises, the unexpected returns. Every time that buzzer hits, I get so excited. But you know what else is unexpected and a lot less pleasant? Injuries. Yeah. They can happen anytime, anywhere, unexpectedly. And that's why I want to talk about today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, the 21st century law firm that's changing the game when it comes to injury claims. And when injury happens, a million things might go through your head. And contacting a lawyer might sound scary, complicated, and even unnecessary. But let me tell you, it's a must. In the unfortunate event of, say, a car accident, your first move should be calling a personal injury attorney. And no need to worry about money. With Morgan & Morgan, it won't cost you a dime unless they win you a case. Also, it's super easy. You can submit a claim in just eight clicks or less. Just you and your phone and eight simple clicks. Morgan & Morgan modernized the injury law process. You can submit all the case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and even share your medical records with just a few swipes. And you can text your attorney and legal team throughout your case. So remember, for unexpected events, Morgan & Morgan with lawyers in all 50 states and over 900 lawyers will be there for you to fight tooth and nail to get you the compensation you rightly deserve with eight clicks or less to submit a claim. You can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash ring the bell or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. Thank you, Morgan & Morgan. Number 11 was Kyrie saying ahoy. Evil I, ahoy. Evil. Yeah. I think the cool elimination spot of this year, I think has to go with Kyrie saying. By far. Yes. By far. I was like... How do you even realize you could do that? Like, what was like, she holding on to? Yeah, what are you like, doing? How did yeah, like, yeah, how do you, yeah, yeah. What, she wasn't holding on to anything. That was the weirdest part. She was just like, eh, like a, like a spider on, on there. Mm-hmm. But like, that's the thing is, how do you realize you could do that? That's such an unnatural movement that you're holding on to. But I, I loved every part of it. And like, Asuka trying to hold her up, and she's, I can't be just like there yelling, just. Ah! You did nothing to save her. <laughs> you know, you did nothing. <laughs> tried, to save but not really. You did nothing to save your homegirl, and then you acted like you tried so hard. <laughs> and then she got eliminated. I, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, technically, she could have just like both feet has two times. Yeah. Right? So she could have just put one foot down. Yeah. Yeah. Put one foot the, down the, and just get she got eliminated. I thought both feet hit the floor at first, and I, I was like, wait, too. can we get that I recap? But we weren't getting the recap, so it was amazing. It was a great, great moment. Great, great moment. And then she got eliminated pretty quickly with Asuka, which was like a big. People were really disappointed. Yeah. I'm excited how this storyline is going to go. We're going to talk about it more yeah. with how damage control is going to get into this because they really didn't help Bailey at all. At all. So Bailey actually did win by her stuff. So it's going to be interesting. Number 12, Tegan Knox. I love that she looked cool. She looked awesome. Her hair looked very expensive. Hair color doesn't give you personality. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. I'm sure she's a great person, but like we haven't gotten anything. Now I'm like, okay, she looks cool. We have the looks. This person looks great, but then I'm like... And, what, and then she, they said like, oh, the shiniest wizard. And I don't know if it was Michael Cole or like uh, Pat Murphy was like, what does that mean? Oh my God, that was shady. Right? I always say that. But yeah. you know what's really funny? Naomi's new t-shirt, the merch is like shiniest or shiny, whatever. Like, oh, really? Shiny global, shiny globe or something. Oh. Yeah, it was with like a disco the, ball, right? With the N mm. in the middle. And I was like, shiny wizard, Tegan Knox. <laughs> I legit oh, thought that was Tegan Knox merch. Her spotlight moment was with Natty because Natty did it again. Turned on her tag partner again, but then it backfired. Yeah. Don't hug Natty in the rumble. No. Uh, How y'all always falling her. for? I mean, I love it too, and I love that Natty got hers. Yeah. Because it's always the best spot, but it's just like, y'all are dumb. Totally. <laughs> 
Natty does it every rumble. I love oh. seeing um, Natty's like little tweets with Tegan afterwards, so she's yeah. trying to make it work. So maybe they're just gonna keep them together. I don't know. Number thirteen, Caitlyn Carter. She had a cool spot when she first got in. Oh yeah, that is yeah. true. She had, she had a cool spot. I just feel, ah. Same kind of scene. Yeah, issue. with with yeah. with Katana and stuff. She looks cool yeah. too. Maybe it'll take a little bit for them to kind of catch on to the main roster fully. But I just I just some notes. Not all the way there yet. No. Almost, but no, not, not all the way. You know, I think their in ring performance is like world class. It's one of the yeah. most exciting tag team. Whenever they they do that keg stand finish, yeah, that was really cool. People pop like crazy. Like people are just genuinely amazed with their athleticism, and as they should. Yeah, I think just packaging is so annoying to me yeah it's, like I, I agree yeah. with that it's just like because they're built as a team yeah, yeah, yeah. and we don't know anything else about them they so party. we see they, they party I mean yeah. I totally party with them yes. hey y'all y'all need people I'm down or if gonna go the party gimmick go for it like completely 100% be ridiculous about it mm. like be like come out to the ring every time with a bottle service or like in sparkler girls like if you're gonna Uh-oh. go there go there to put yeah, the point it's where very it's like, like PC yes very festival it's, girl to- it's yes very for sure yeah. Like, if you're gonna go there, go extremely there. Do a little <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that, but hey. Y'all like that? <laughs> they have great moves, and I feel like that's not... We don't have enough great tag yeah. teams like this. Yeah. And I see what they're trying to do, but, like, I think what we're saying is, like, the building. I'm like, they don't give me strong enough. Like, the keg stand is great, but, like, the, the fact that that's taken everyone out, I'm like, that's not doing it. I, These little knees that were just... Whoop, okay, like... I just want them want to more. fight on top of each other the whole time. Like, you, like, you know, that would be amazing. Like, like chicken? Like, yes, the whole, the whole yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want them to wrestle. Like, Chelsea Green, number 14. Okay, Chelsea Green, my freaking queen. She came out. We were in Florida. Don't say Gail. The trans bathroom bill, all that shit's going down in Florida. Comes out with her amazing yes. rainbow train skirt. So she said pride. No, yeah. She yeah. did it for the gays. She did it for the queers. Uh, I love Chelsea. I think everything she's been doing since she's been back has been amazing. From the moment she got into the ring, that, that teasing that quick elimination yeah. from last year, to the ending with that amazing elimination, that whole spot with Nia Jax and amazing. Piper, just amazing. from top to bottom, just perfect, perfect performance. Yeah. I feel great. also Chelsea and Piper had some of the best character work yeah. uh, that you could have in a Rumble, especially I... to stand out mm. amongst 30 women is so hard, but they did it, especially it, with character work, which Chelsea Green is a amazing mm-hmm. at but also like it helped their storyline and told a story like if you never haven't been keeping up with them and don't know who who what's going on after watching that match you know who chelsea green is and what she's about she had so many memorable spots she was great like you said perfect performance everything about it was great loved her yeah. loved everything about it the fact that she was teasing have her almost getting eliminated and even acknowledged she's like, like, no, she's like i beat my five seconds yeah totally so, like, which, okay, am- amazing so good um, no she just knew what she was supposed to do when she did it like amazing like everything she did i was like oh She's going in there with purpose. Yes. Everything meant something, and it was great. Even though she was the punching bag the whole time, I think that's like she gives into it and yeah. she plays it up, and it's memorable as opposed to somebody that's just getting beat up to yeah. make everybody look good. It's just like you still are looking at Chelsea. And Such a good point. As yeah. she's a pancake, a and you're just point. like still sitting there like cackling, laughing, yeah. whatever you're doing. But it's like she's she's doing it well, and she's a great worker. She really yeah. is. Yeah, she hasn't really shown that side in WWE yet. So like she's just a gift that's gonna continue to give mm-hmm. for years to come. I love yeah. that her finisher too is Unpretty Her I'm instead pretty of Prettier, her. Yeah. which is so funny because it was in a match with her. I oh, That's also my finish. So it's so funny because I'm like, okay, I'll do a different finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep on doing it, Chelsea. You're killing it. Number 15, Piper Niven. Love the bestie situation. I love that like when she came out, she like teased dropping. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh! I know yes. it was like I got you I love that because I feel like in the beginning they really they've really grown as a group and I love the story building with these two mm-hmm. and I feel like we owe that to Chelsea because I feel like Piper had obviously with Dewdrop struggled finding her footing in the roster and finding her place on the show but I feel like it's working now right? oh for sure and she was there she was there for Chelsea every time she apologized every time yeah. she hit her she was trying to pick her up saved her from being eliminated I was here for it I thought it was great I love to her gear it was for like her Scottish heritage and stuff it yeah. looked amazing right. and I do love the pairing together because you see this pairing a lot where it's like the insurance policy big strong person mm-hmm. with like a smaller person and obviously they do have that dynamic but that's not the only dynamic they have no. 
because it's so easy to fall into. It's been done so many right. times before with men, women, with even like co-eds, really. With, oh, like, look at China and Eddie for for sure. But like this, them two mm-hmm. do have that dynamic, but it's much more than mm-hmm. that. And I, they work so well together. Her character's there. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad she's not Dewdrop anymore. I can I do not even want to think about that. Honestly, though, I kind of lit for the Dewdrop era. <laughs> really? Her fashion was so cute. I mean, who was with Eva? Because that's all she had. <laughs> Number 16, Xylee. She kicked. Oh, okay, she's got great kicks. Yep. Uh, Xylee comes and goes, comes and she goes. Really she really does. Goes, so I feel like, like I can now. never really get a good grasp yeah. of her, what she could do here, because she comes and goes so mm-hmm. much. I love she comes out to the swords. Cool. <laughs> and then just drops them. <laughs> like, she's not going to bring that in. I mean, <laughs> why are you people with that? I don't know. <laughs> she's going to cut people's limbs? Or like, <laughs> <laughs> why not? I don't know. That's legal. <laughs> 17. Oh, my God. I thought it was like this was like Victoria's Secret model moment. Oh. Selena Vega with the oh. over Overwatch? Um, yeah. Overwatch yeah. Which is a yeah. video game. Yeah. 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 I don't know what game was, but I knew, I always know when it's going to be a big event, she's probably going to cosplay Fresh somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she looks so beautiful. So good. Stunning. Yeah. Like, if a Victoria's Secret Angels were gamers, it would be Zelina Vega, 100%. And Rumble, I think Zelina always shines. She does. Okay. Yeah. Like, she really capitalizes on moments. That code red spot, that was really yeah. cool. I love that she kept on trying to do the code red, and it wouldn't work out. And she needed to be And then finally, she, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. she got the help of it this is I thought that was a good like thread storyline being told in the match itself and this is a big difference like Zelina Vega is tiny too and like the difference between her and Katana is not that much like size wise but like look at the intensity and like what she brings to her moves and I think that's definitely the difference between them thank you I'm glad you said it because see there's a big difference Mm -hmm. in the way Zelina is a wrestler but she's been wrestling forever so much longer that it just works it just sells like you know like when we get a code red on somebody like Dewdrop I believe it. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just like, even though it's a little like, ooh, but I love that, you know, obviously with Bianca's help, it right. was like, that was great. Like, that was a great spot. And I want Selena to be champion one day. Great elimination as always. For that, sure. um, with Shayna and Zoe, like, double teaming on her. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. Number 18. Thank you. <laughs> so, divas were missing. So, Maxine Dupreen came in and she's like, I'm gonna be carrying all the diva mantle with me. <laughs> yeah. And she did. I knew the moment she walked in, she was like giving homage to Kelly Kelly with the pink look. Yeah. And she was obviously doing that Kelly Kelly. Ah! That's what was missing, is because she didn't say ah during the head scissors. Everybody ba- knows it's an yeah. effective head scissors if you go ah during it. Bailey should have been spitting. I'm sorry. I think this was on Bailey. <laughs> I feel so bad. Everyone's shitting on Maxi. I, I root for her, but... She uh, means well. She means well, and she's gorgeous. She's pretty. She's funny, and she really get, got into the character. I like the way they say her name, but um, I, I, I want more from, from Maxi. I mean, in the character, I think I want more skill in the ring. Mm. Maybe she needs a little bit more time to cook. I'm yeah. a big fan. I think she's a rare character that we've seen a lot in Diva era, where this is a wrestler that we're seeing the growth. I agree, yeah. Unlike everyone else who's already kind of like finished product in NXT. In that sense, I think people have different level of connection with her. Yeah. And she also gagged a lot of people with ocean cyclone suplex that came out of nowhere yeah so it's that's a really high bar that she set for herself yeah. so it's um it's a little hard she gives me yeah. stacy keebler vibes i was gonna say exactly she's tall mm-hmm. and lanky like that and mm-hmm. she also does like i mean she's a little bit more goofier for sure yeah i'm very team, but i goofier. thought that was great like the taunting and the gyrating and the, like, yeah her really funny worm and shit yeah like, <laughs> Like so great funny. spot. It's That's very true. gimmicky. Like yeah, totally. Like the, yeah. the reverse caterpillar yeah. thing, and they're like, just call it a larva. I, I just want more it. because I'm already so intrigued. So I'm just like, okay. Yeah, Did like she do anything else? I'm here for her. I mean, she like you said, yeah. she, I think she needs to cook a little bit more. Yeah, but. I'm here for the growth. I think she has a lot of passion yeah. for it. She studies Diva era to the T. So I'm excited to see what she's going to do next. Number 19, Nia Jax came here to annihilate. Ah. Both with her looks and performance. She looks so damn so good. good. Stunning. So good. Stunning. So good. I'm a big Nia Jax fan. I was before. I know everyone hates her for some odd reason, but um, not for some odd reason. I know We know why. <laughs> she was kind of one of my picks to win. Yeah. Um, just because I feel like she's been on a roll since she's been mm-hmm. back. She looks better than ever. She's working better than mm-hmm. ever. Some of her work these days, yeah. I feel like, are some of my favorite matches that I've seen. Right. So I was really happy. And I'm glad that we didn't just get to Eliminator because I feel like that's usually nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Story arc in a rumble is everyone just gets her 
gets it over and it's like okay we're done um so i was like i'm glad they gave her a little bit more because she had some really cool spots and i felt like she was really getting some eliminations in there she was the big storyline of this match leading sure. up to jade cargill coming in does anyone in the entire roster gets reaction like that jax no, no i don't no, think no, so no. she's the she gets, she's like a heat magnet yeah she's she, very yeah. polarizing yeah. for sure she's the only real heel and she's not afraid of being a heel. And, she and I love it. that. And yeah, and I it. love that. There was a spot, obviously, like, I'm sure, like, when you they zoomed out on camera, like, you saw everyone got up just to boo her. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that bitch, like, and then she, like, played into and it. And she I never like, wants yes. to be, like, the cool heel nope. either. No. Like, she's not afraid, like, go ahead, boo me. And I love that yeah. because that's missing so much in wrestling in general, especially, right. like, in WWE. I feel like there's not that many, like, true heels left. So it's very refreshing to see that. She did great. She only did so many people. Um, I also asked afterwards okay so i guess i was like sitting in the family friend section so i was sitting right oh, behind of course you were <laughs> oh, of course you were okay, no, so i was like right behind zoe stark's mom four or five people were like chanting like crazy for zoe stark so i was like what's going on do you guys know zoe and she was like oh, she's my daughter <laughs> I love her, I love her. Oh, uh, and then so in front of them was Naya's cousins. So like the whole um the Samoan moments. family. Naya just like after she got eliminated, she started running towards them and like hugged them and just like ran back. It was That's so cute. cool. That was really cute. That's very cute. She's really lovable, but she's a heel. She's a heel. Number 20, Shotzi. She's got cute hair going. Her hair grew back so fast. So fast, it's green already. Yeah. It's in weeks. Korea, they say Ooh. if you think of a lot of like sexy stuff, your hair grows faster. <laughs> So she, I mean, she just got married. Uh, yeah, that's how it goes. That explains. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see my hair longer next time, you know why. This can get longer too. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a really cool cannonball spot. She did, which always looks devastating. Like it looks like it hurts yeah. her and the opponent more. I, I love her little. T- I like the tank. I, li- I, I like that we got to actually see the tank. Um, I feel like we didn't get much for Agreed. this rumble. And Agreed. I don't know. I feel like, is it just me? I feel like we're losing her. In the past like few matches, I feel like that we've had in her big spots. I'm like, what are we doing with Shotzi? I'm such a huge fan, and I feel like it's just slowly digressing with her. Even yeah. sometimes the skill in the ring, too, it seems like... I don't know, a little slow, kind of missing things. I'm always like, Good oh, point. yeah. Oh, like it breaks my heart because back. I'm so, Come yeah, back. like I, I'm really a really big uh, Shotzi fan. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of her merch and I always root for her. She looks straight out of like a Doll's Kill campaign. She really does. I love the gear. I love the way she looked. Yeah. I just wanted more. Like she came in and then it was like instantly. That was it. Because she's obviously the ballsy badass. Mm-hmm. I'm missing the ballsy badassness of Period. Shotzi. Mm. Period. Yeah, she looked like walking through Bottle. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She really did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Number 21, Becky Lynch. What do you think of her makeup? It was a little overwhelming. <laughs> I feel like it was the trend today. Everybody had the like blown out makeup into it was, like. It was okay. a lot. I mean, her. I love the hair. Yeah. Gorgeous. So I, the makeup, it wasn't bad. It was just, it was very overwhelming and intense. But you know, I think that's Becky's thing. I think yeah. she doesn't give a shit. I don't mm-hmm. think she's there to be beautiful. I don't think she's there to meet my beauty standards, which I love and I've really grown to respect Becky's work. I was really excited to see her in the Rumble and I was really, ex- I'm really excited for the feud to continue with her and I. Becky was another yeah. one that was like, a lot of people thought she might be winning this year, and but she came in, she really put a lot of people in this match. Like yeah, she did. The, the elimination alone, I think that she got eliminated by Naomi with that yeah. Jade spot. That was really, really cool. I love that moment that um, when Jade eliminated Naya, Becky oh. was just like there like watching. Yeah, I think she said she was gonna do that. That's why I was like, she kept her word, and she's like, and then when you get a limit, I'm gonna stand there and laugh. (laughs) And she did. She She was like, she held her word. I was like, okay, I love that. I love when people stick to their shit. I was like, all right, Becky. I think Becky's another one that brings like a star power to any match that she Mm -hmm. comes in, and she did really well of like playing up to her star power, but also like putting other people over and letting them have their moment as well. Number twenty-two, Alba Fire, uh, accompanied by Isla, who was not included in the match for some reason. She came in and did the double glory bomb with. Cool. Yeah. That was really cool. I like that. I love her gear. I love the baggy like capri pants thing that she's she was wearing. Right. It looked really cool. Unfortunately got no response because she's been MIA for like Oh, wow. I think literally six months after yeah. losing to Shayna and Ronda, they were gone, and then they finally had like a championship match, but mm-hmm. also lost. Alba's elimination was kind of cool. It was Naomi with that spike. Oh like, yeah, yes, 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 that yes, one yeah. that was yeah. kind of cute. I, yeah. I like you don't really look. see pedigrees anymore. Number 23, Shayna Baszler. She always looks like a badass, and I know she's always like, her mm-hmm. gear is always inspired from a little, like, really, like, niche video game that I know nothing about. But she, uh, give it up to her, she always, like, looks like a yeah. badass with another more. See, like, blown out makeup. That's right. trend. trend. I liked her makeup. Yeah. I, I really liked uh, Shayna. I feel like she's been wearing warmer makeup. You know, obviously, that's not her area of expertise, but um, I enjoy when um, Shayna comes out because I feel like yeah. we, a very different dynamic of For what sure. she brings. 
brings to the ring and it's always really fun and like very polarizing and I feel like she's another heel that just doesn't give a shit yeah when that people don't like her and plays into it well because obviously her style is a little bit so much more aggressive I'm here for it I think I wanted a little bit more uh, yeah. but I feel like yeah. obviously she's had so many rumble moments already and so. really good rumble moments so I'm okay yeah. if she doesn't have to be the shiny star yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Shannon just like, needs yeah. to teach an intensity class and have like katana <laughs> <laughs> I like their partnership with Zoe this time they like was wearing matching outfits yeah, some cute, cute tag yes. moments so I did really like it Bahala. <laughs> um, slash uh, R truth. <laughs> slash R truth. What was going on? Like, what happened with that? I was so confused. I was like, mm. I mean, I know, like, R truth's whole gimmick right now is like to basically be confused because he thinks he's in the Judgment Day, but he's not. Yeah. And, like, in the in the men's Royal Rumble, I didn't see this, but I heard that he thought it was a tag match. So, like, so I think it's like a funny, like, ha ha mm. thing. Right. But I think, obviously, Valhalla's thing is just like yeah. R truth's thing. So so, I didn't really I like never it. Did. The crowd liked it because crowd obviously loves our truth It was also yeah. kind of a flashback to when Nia took out our truth to yeah. like be in that rumble. So I think maybe it was a little bit of that. But uh, both of them got limited right away. 25, Michin, Mia Yam. She came in and did that like flying. It was a tornado, a tornado DDT. DDT. It was amazing. amazing. And I loved it yes. so much because mm-hmm. her and Kaylee Ray, uh, Alba, which I do not like Alba's name, that's why I keep on calling her Kaylee Ray still, uh, were a tag team together in Shimmer. They were called Flying High, and they were literally had some of my favorite matches I've seen in Shimmer. So I was really hoping that they did a, could have like either a face off or a spot so that she came in and did this beautiful satellite tornado DDT on Kaylee Ray. I was like, yay, they get to have a moment in WWE which I was very happy for yeah. for them. A lot of the women in this match, they were used as a victim of Nia yes. Jax, basically. Yeah. So that kind of happened a lot, which mm-hmm. again came to to push Jade. Yeah. Uh, number 26 was Zoe Stark. And if, as we talked about, we love Zoe Stark. She looked really cool. She did. Um, she had a really cute moment yeah. with Shayna Baszler. Shayna, yeah. I do love that she always looks like she's ready for a fight. Like, mm. not a yeah. wrestling match. She always looks like she... She looks like if we're at a bar and she, like, takes off her, like, little cute crop jacket and she's ready to, like, right. throw it down at a bar fight. She like, makes business all the time. Yeah. Like, all the time. That's what I love about Zoe. I'm a little attracted sometimes. Uh. <laughs> Just because it's so much masculine energy, but I'm here for it. I, I love it. I can get with Zoe Stark if you're yeah. interested. Oh, she said we're going to go. <laughs> I love it. Um, 27, a surprise NXT entrant, Roxanne Prez. I kept on saying, like, I kept on trying to guess who was coming up next, and I kept on saying Roxy for the longest time, and I'm like, oh, there she is. Another really tiny person. There were so many short people in this It match. was. It was like powerhouses in the, like, the, 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 short, the shorties. Yeah. Apparently, this was spoiled earlier in the show. Oh, Really? Like when Randy Orton was walking to the arena or whatever, the Titan Tron was playing. Oh, that's them. hilarious. Oh, no. My conspiracy I, I, theory is that this was supposed to be AJ's spot. See, I thought that too. Every time someone, somebody else would come on, I'm like, oh, it's AJ. It's AJ. It was not AJ. This is what I heard. And obviously, with any wrestling news, take it with big grain of salt. But WWE did contact AJ. Oh, I, fi- I figured they did. Yeah. I mean, there's those clips of her like training with yeah. Uh, CM Punk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was for the TV show. But she was mm-hmm. contacted. I don't know exactly what happened. Mm. Maybe she's like, I want my bodyguard Tamina, but she's not here, so maybe not. Uh, I didn't <laughs> the, that. the fact that we, the fact that we did not get that oh. traditional Tamina Rumble stare down. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is traditional, <laughs> actually. That is traditional for her. It became kind of her thing. I know. I just hate that Tamina didn't get like a good sense. Yeah. There's history over a Rumble with Tamina having a stare down with someone every year. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I need that this year for I- sure. <laughs> I need that too. So, Roxanne? Is she in the main roster or not? Because I feel like this is the second time she's in the Royal Rumble, no. right? And like, doesn't like stay stay there. So I feel like sometimes I kind of want them to like stay in the main roster if they're going to be in the Royal Rumble. But I, I feel like she could have done a little bit more. But also, I mean, she got in there 27. I think she was just there as like an added bonus as opposed to like really like shining. I mean, what she did was good, but it wasn't anything like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Nothing yeah. too memorable. She looked pretty. Yeah. Uh, number 28, Jade Cargill. Has oh, one. my God. She got the same music. The storm is here. Got the little jazz thing going on. The freaking same music. I was just like, okay, that's a little shady. But she looks <laughs> so good. Amazing. Can't take my eye off her. Something about Jade, I like, I feel like as soon as, before she was even with AEW, we're like, as soon as like maybe when Shaq brought her out. Yeah. It was oh. like, who is that that's gorgeous? Like, you cannot not look at her. And I love the storm vibes. I just love everything about her. She's just built and stacked. I've always said yeah. she looks like a million bucks. 
and I feel like now she has like three million bucks. So like regardless of what she's doing, thank God she's in wrestling. But I feel like if she was working like at Seven Eleven or whatever, you would stare at her and like undeniably, like absolutely stunning, gorgeous, and can deliver. That's a combo you don't see. Yeah, yeah. Like honestly, she could like stand there and still be great. But the fact that she is athletic AF and can like nice. do amazing stuff is is amazing. I mean, she's been training with Natty at the dojo. She's been at Performance Center. What did you think of her performance? I think she, this is exactly what she needed. I think she just needed to get a little more re- refined and get that coaching and that like a little bit more than a PC can pr- can provide for for it. Because I mean, it, you know, it doesn't 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 have that. But like you have like years and years of people who have been in the business and installing their like uh, their knowledge onto you and that's exactly what Jane needed because it, obviously it's not a money thing for her she's married no. to a millionaire a dude who like literally won the world series so right, right. they're fine so I love that she was able to even get shined up even more a little bit more polished she looks so crisp she came in she just threw out an Ajax like no problem no sweats and that was a what huge a statement. gag what a way wow. to make your like uh, debut yeah the I know we've what been like waiting for her and obviously like there was no hiding that she got signed so they had to just let her know and we'd only gotten like little like um, backstage things of her her sitting in a throne bumping into Charlotte and to make your statement as eliminating somebody <sighs> like Naya who was a powerhouse and really killed it in this match and eliminated really almost everybody uh, to eliminate the biggest, right. the yeah. biggest one yeah like that was a great way to and Becky was there to entrance. enjoy that moment mm-hmm. Becky was there to enjoy that every single moment of it it was amazing and then of course that Bianca Belair face off so uh, I feel like time stood still yeah. whenever Everyone that started getting back. up yeah, like, and it, people yes people stood up to like watch this moment. dream match yeah like when we match. get this yeah, dream this match oh my gosh and then, then the dueling gorilla presses it was it was yes. just so good with like the evil gr- not the evil grinning but it was just like kind of sh- facing off show yeah. off show yeah. off like I can do it anything you do I can do it better and then just dropping them and being like girl what's up and then it got <laughs> ruined by Tiffany and Bailey <laughs> <laughs> and number 29 was Tiffany Stratton and I'm sorry she came in from NXT surprise entrance uh, she got more charisma than half the people that like literally <laughs> like in the stark difference of her coming out versus literally so many other women coming out is so insane like and you really as typical it is you really can't teach that you either have it or you don't and like Tiff definitely has it 100% looking so cute looking like super cute a Valentine's Day gear also loved it came in hot came in did the amazing swan time yeah. loved, loved it the, for the, sure the kids say she's got the riz she started <laughs> start drip drip and the elimination obviously the Rapunzel moment so good and number 30 oh people were so excited for number 30 because we're conditioned to be gooped and gagged for number 30 yeah. but also there were a lot of rumors going around what about Sasha Banks AJ Lee, Michelle McCool Marie's backstage, all this stuff. And then also this Rumble didn't really have that like crazy stuff happen outside of Jordan Grace, maybe. So people were like excited to see what happened. And WWE completely played us. They stalled the music. For two seconds. Them. It was like a good two seconds, which felt like forever. Yeah. The entire arena was like <gasps> Sorry. and then Liv Morgan. And it was like Oh yeah, okay. people were happy. Yeah, just you quickly forgot because about her just because it's like we yeah. want somebody that's returning yeah. from that has been outside of the company. Yeah. And I was like, you know, Liv never left the company. She just left on injury. So I, I think bad. you know. Yeah. I think maybe we should just like do away the number thirty spot of uh, thinking of it, not the spot itself, <laughs> but like the mentality that goes behind it. Because no matter who it is, somebody's gonna be disappointed. Like like I think it was a great return for Liv, but mm-hmm. it's all, like you said, like it's a. Oh okay, like it was that slight hesitation, uh, which whoever's number thirty kind of gets put in a weird, a weird. So you're weird saying position. we've been spoiled? Yes, <laughs> most we've been definitely spoiled. for I, sure. I felt bad. We wanted her to come back. Yeah, like, yeah. We like you could. Okay, there were no, some, not like that. We want her to come back, just not like that. Like there were, we want Sasha chance going around. There were some people calling for AJ, and it was just like tough spot to be in. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But she came out. She looked beautiful. I thought she looked like Ashley Masar. I thought. I was like Ashley Omar. What it was dirty. It was Christina. Oh, <laughs> it's whoops. <laughs> we just I got it. Action star, yay! I did it. WWE is like our only American yeah, that's reference. It. Like, God, like, oh, uh, I was like so behind. When y'all said that, I was like, mm, no. She did great. Yeah, she did great. 
great. She mm-hmm. was and I love that she came in, came in hot, had her moves, had her the oblivion, which I think is a great move for the rumble because it's flashy, it's fast, you can hit it on anybody. But I think she had a really good like little comment, like, oh yeah, there she is. There's the live that we know and love. But yeah. I do think that she wants to like bring more, and obviously mm-hmm. in a Royal Rumble match, it's kind of hard to, to do that. But she was she did great in her performance for sure. You know this ending, so many great people. We got Jade, Bianca, Becky, Naomi, Bailey, Liv Morgan. Everyone could have been a winner yeah. in this like last moment. So people were like at the edge of their seats. They were like mm-hmm. all so so into it. I feel like this ending was one of the best endings that okay. we had. So invested. I loved it. I think like you made a great point. This was the first time in a long time that I think like literally any of these women could win it and should win it and w- should be win a rumble, whether it be this one or, or, or another one. It was very it wasn't a very clear cut winner to me. No, yeah, it was like I could see this going any way with any of the final three. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. we can really kind of go a lot of places. Obviously with Bailey, we know where we're going with that. But I was like, there's so much unfinished business with Liv and Rhea. So we could have explored that avenue. And then you know with Jade, it was just like that's so unknown, but she's already so like polarizing as a character mm-hmm. that we want. Right. Um, so I feel like that would have been a great one too, because it's just like, what is she gonna do? I absolutely love the finish. It was it was very Loved in it. true Bailey fashion. It was like obviously very quick, um, but it's just like in her character, it's like she found the sneaky yeah. way to do it. It was this little like boop with the foot, yeah. like she just snuck them, and it was like over. It was very quick, and I didn't see it ending that way, but it made sense. And you know, I'm all about continuity. Like right. make it make sense, it. and it made sense. I kind of love how it was creative. It was different. I mean, there's so many ways that you could finish a Royal Rumble, and I feel like we've seen mm-hmm. a lot of them already, but the, we haven't seen this specific setup yet, especially with the whole, like, Rapunzel moment, yes. too. So cool and different. I mean, it made, uh, made Tiffany look cool. It made right. Bianca look good. It made everybody look strong and still made Bailey hold up to her mm-hmm. character and her, yes. and her, and her gimmick. Yes. It was yeah. great. I kind of felt like she might have been leaning into winning just because her being pushed so much about never winning uh, the mm. Royal Rumble. This is the one thing in her career that's eluded her. So yeah. I'm glad that she did win, but I think it was a little bit heavy on that. So I'm like, okay, I could I could see her winning. The Oblivion into Jade with the outside. That was really so cool. Good. Was, the yeah. visual of everyone just like, god dang it. <laughs> just Devastated so that oh Bailey god. won, kind of second guessing their lives. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what am I doing? Do I quit now? It was, it was like lined up. Yeah. yeah. Like, lined up yeah. and then just Bailey screaming, I told you! Yeah. <laughs> so, it was a good visual. Yeah. The crowd was so there for her. So, so happy. Like, it was like a baby face pop. They were here yeah. for yeah. the win. I gotta say, though, I... I like that she won. I think it's a very reasonable choice. I think there's a lot of storyline potential here. I don't think it was an exciting choice. Given that last couple of rumbles, we really had those like Cinderella moments of like crowning new, like new face of this division, right. the future of division. We're kind of going back to that four horse yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. Even though Bailey's never a bride, she's a bride woman, bridesmaids, brides, bride, bride, bride. You said it right, bridesmaids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's a yeah. great storyline choice. Agree. It Agreed. was needed, like you said, almost like a safe, obvious choice. But sometimes a safe, obvious choice yeah. is the right one. And then Rio already has like so many options to go. So many, yeah, like, sure. so many. Um, we already know who Bailey's gonna choose. If the guys like Roman can have this three-year-long story, like why can't we have yes. anything similar to that? And I feel like this has been going on. It's been a long time. I'm coming with damage control in Bailey, so let's do it. Like, yeah. let's just get, let's have a good story, like a long one, and like, let's have a good fin. Or maybe this is gonna open up more stories. I yeah. don't know, but like, I'm here for it. Quick calls of the MVP of this match. I'll say Jordan Grace, like, yes. she stood out. I think I'm gonna say Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green awesome. uh, I think she brought so much more to the match. It Besides, like, she didn't have to do all the crazy, fancy moves yeah. or like weird, crazy saves. I think she spoke most about her character work, yeah. and like, you couldn't take her eyes off her. And, like we were talking about earlier, like she was getting beat up mm-hmm. and she was still like serving her with her character and selling and everything was really, really awesome about her. And it, it just speaks volumes to what she could right. do. I think she really stood out because of that. MVP for me, I'm going to go with Naya. Uh, yeah, that was another one uh, of my choices. For her, sure. her best rumble yet. I feel okay. like she's having a great run right now. Um, you know, usually she gets eliminated. They always have to gang up on mm-hmm. her. But obviously the Jade spot was great. Right. She also had a lot of eliminations on her own, which I feel was very very good yeah. and it's giving her the momentum to to go forward and like i said i want that rematch i want like a big powerhouse yes like if we do a fatal four-way yeah i would love a fatal four-way for sure of course jade and naomi both huge huge so like good. mvps i gotta say though i mean it's a deepest stand i'm like 
What about the divas? Come on! What about the divas? <laughs> Do you know that meme? No. <laughs> no, what? no I, which one is it? What about the divas? What about There's this like Kelly Kelly in OVW where she's like, come on, what about the deep? Where like all the divas then use it to like just harass 2K, WWE 2K oh, people. And I'm like, what about the divas? I actually like filmed that with Kelly Kelly like in that. March. But like I was like, I don't know where to use this. But this is the moment I'm going to use yeah. it. What about the divas? Come on. What about the divas? I know. No, like even one. I very surprised actually that there was no like old timers I feel so bad I'm not saying old timers like they're old I'm saying like old timers like, <laughs> so, like legends yeah, yeah legends yeah. and not stuff like one. that I was very surprised I was almost like okay maybe they'll give it to somebody like newer and fresher but I was still missing that element yeah. I definitely found myself like missing missing that for sure like we have a great pool of legends to pull from so yeah. it was kind of surprising that nobody uh, nobody showed up so that's that was a little sad yeah Eve i was Morris. expecting jacqueline i heard jacqueline. some rumblings about yeah. she wanted to make a little return or jazz. she wanted to run yeah jazz we haven't seen jazz amazing. come back you um, know so i was maybe expecting like something around that area yeah. for one of those return divas but i also thought this women's rumble match really showed a huge problem with women's division in wwe mm-hmm. it needs mid card because yes. half the division got no reaction not their fault no it's just when you come to men's division they all have like five six seven storyline going on at one time women the only top stars get the storyline mid card we, we really don't get that depth of a storyline so people don't connect with these women so it was quiet yeah, yeah. there was a like lot of times where it was like weirdly quiet I mean there was even one point where like this one dude like said a whole like two sentence paragraph too like, it was you said like it was Naya and even, even even the like announcers acknowledged it it was really yeah. awkward and weird it was so loud and I, I can't even I don't even know what he said but he yeah, it was yeah and it just like goes like, on like, oh for like two God. minutes <laughs> yeah. but it was awkward just because it was so quiet and I think that's why you could hear it because it was really really quiet and what a great point is that you do we do need some mid card going Ooh. on and like they treat the tag titles as an accessory yes. so yeah and that could be perfect why not use that like, as the mid card title right. right we get no storyline with those tag titles yeah. half the time like it's just they, they get represented and they get defended now but it's just like what can we get story with them and yeah. I kind of think that goes to show why obviously if this was the rumor if this went around but why Naomi and Sasha left in the beginning because they were like pissed that they yeah. weren't champs and they weren't being utilized as that and they're just being thrown around and even now I feel like the, the, the titles are being lumped with you know the the champion and they, like, always, do they always do that always yeah. do that and it's kind of very annoying it's like what's the point of having tag titles either yeah. have them or don't because they always really do get lumped into the main championship storyline and and I think it'd be a great for like a mid card title because there'll be two of them so yeah. there'll be more opportunities yeah. for it for sure. I felt like we were getting somewhere obviously with Piper and Chelsea um, doing that but they're already kind of rising stars yeah. they're killing like, it um, they're killing it overall even though there were some disappointing moments I I think it was a very entertaining role. I think so yeah, too. I that, yeah. super, a super random morning to say too. I wanted to see Sonya back. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. you were talking about Raquel too. Oh yeah, I was, I was like, talking about Raquel. Yeah, yeah I Raquel. Wanted Raquel. Yeah. I wanted Raquel. I was like, where is she? Totally. You, you kept yeah. thinking that you were like every number. Yeah, every like, number I'm like Raquel. Raquel. It's Raquel. Raquel. And I don't even know why I was just like, oh, okay, I guess Raquel's not not in it. But yeah. We're in the era like the powerhouse era, yes. so I was like, how can we not have? Yeah, right. I have so many dream matches I want with Raquel too, so it's just like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Everybody's either super tall and strong or like very tiny and short yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well we are officially on the road to Wrestlemania and it's looking really exciting we got both world championship and both championship we got the storylines lined up we're very excited about it well thank you so much for sitting down for this long ass interview we loved it I didn't realize we love like Raw and Smackdown we, oh, we do we do we just actually I love it this. Brand. Yeah. It's branding. So yeah. where can we all find you, Logan? You can find me at Logan Zass. I'm holding this shirt like this says my name. You can find me at Logan Zass on Instagram. I'm on everything. YouTube. 
Mm, X Twitter. I don't really use it, but <laughs> Logan's ass Instagram. And my shows. You can catch me every other Sunday at Subterranean, which is in Chicago here in the Wicker Park area. And it's actually 17 and up. So if you are oh. not 21, you can actually come and see a drag show hosted by me. That's cute. I love that. I love that. And Paloma. You can find me at Paloma Star on all social media platforms. And you can find me in print. What? I was meant to bring it, but I totally forgot. <laughs> I meant to bring uh, the Chicago Magazine February issue where I'm featured in a full page yeah. for um, a photo essay of the Lucha Libre scene in okay. Chicago. It is amazing. It is so surreal to see like my face in a Chicago Magazine. Like yeah. what? Pick up your copy today. It's a very prestigious magazine, so I'm so happy for you. Looked awesome. Yeah. And you can find me at DSShit on Instagram and Ring the Bell DS on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.